So what's your name? Mike Manning. Mike Manning. Mike, I remember you told me something about um, when you when you personally taste test, you start on one end and you go through and then you clear your palate and then you start going the other direction and taste them again. What What is the purpose of that? Okay, so it's sort of like a cross check. In other words, um, you may have, let's take ham for instance, I may have four bodies of ham on the table and it could be from four different vendors. Well, you could uh, start with sample number one and it can have a delicious uh, honey note, sweet honey note, with uh, followed up by um, natural ham flavor finished with, uh, with a hickory smoke flavor. In the fourth sample, um, I might want to just kick that one out. However, if I take a 15 minute break, come in and try that product and then go in the other direction, I'll actually get different results because there's, there's, there's an ingredient maybe in the second or third ham that didn't blend well with the fourth ham and, and if I still have residue of those ingredients in my mouth, I could have uh, flavors that, uh, that are not appealing in the fourth sample. So you need to make sure that you're given every, every product a fair shake. Okay, and um, is there anything else you'd like to add when, to anybody out there trying to do some taste testing? Keep in mind that people have different palates and people have different opinions. So you want to make sure you want to understand what the objectives are before you do the taste test. Because uh, if you have a target uh, control gold standard in the system and your customers like that, you may have different thoughts on what you're looking for out of a product. It's QA's goal to match the performance of this product not to necessarily pick our favorite or a different product.